What's up guys, Michael here. We are going to look at a testnet today. It is called MySwap Jedi Swap Starknet. And basically Starknet is a ZK rollup on Ethereum, similar to ZK Sync and Aztec. Uh, this ecosystem is still in the very early stages. Uh, today we will look at the testnet. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download this Chrome extension and I'll link to that below. Um, you come here and it looks like this, Argent X Starknet Wallet. And then if you come up here, you click on that. And it's really easy, once you create it, uh, you just download a backup. You don't have to do any of those, write down those words or anything. So then the transaction will take a little bit to deploy the wallet. And then you'll see this pop up on your screen. You'll click mint and sign. All right, so after you click that mint button, um, it took me a few tries. Um, it would say uh, failed interaction. And it took me probably three or four times to get these thousand testnet tokens. So just be patient. Also uh, keep the wallet open because if you close the wallet, then it will uh, stop minting so and also make sure you're on the girly test net here So the next thing we're going to do is we will go to myswap.xyz and I'll link that below and You're going to connect your wallet All right, so it took a few refreshes for this website to read my wallet so if it's not reading your wallet just refresh the page and it will work so now we're going to swap some of our testnet tokens for some wrapped eth so we'll do let's do 200 and you'll click approve test and sign all right so that took me a few tries um, when i was clicking approve tst what eventually worked was i had to click settings and adjust the slippage to two so after this goes through we will then swap for the wrapped eth all right so the tst has been approved now you will click swap and this button will still be dark, so just take note of that. And we'll sign the transaction in our wallet. Okay, so now that we have um, two tokens, we have TST and we have wrapped ETH now, we'll go to pools and we're going to add some liquidity. So the top token will be TST and the bottom will be wrapped ETH. And we'll just do the max amount of the token we swap for. So max, and you'll click approved wrapped ETH. See, it, this pops up sometimes. You just have to keep trying. All right, guys, so it was a bit buggy. I had to wait a bit and retry. So we are going to add liquidity now. And we're going to do TST and wrapped ETH. And we'll click the max button and make sure you approve wrapped ETH and sign. All right, so now that wrapped ETH is approved, we can now add liquidity. And what you notice is this box down here isn't uh, filled in like this one up here, but you can still click on it. So we're going to add liquidity and we will sign that. And then you will wait for that to approve. All right, so now that we have swapped on my swap and added liquidity, now we are going to do the Jedi swap portion of this testnet. Um, this will be done here. I will link it below. And what you will need to do is, so we'll connect our wallet on Jedi swap. Okay, 
So now we are going to add three tokens to our Argent wallet. And there will be these addresses right here. So I'll post those below. But you're just going to copy the address. Control C. Come to your wallet. Add token. And just Control V it right there. Alright. And then you're going to do that with each of these three addresses. And I'll post them all below. Okay, so now we have the three token addresses we need. Now what you will do is you will mint tokens for each of these addresses. Um, we will go to this link right here. And I'll post that below. And so we're going to go down to six, okay, where it says mint. And if we go back to our guide here, it says enter the following. So you're going to enter your wallet address, uh, the amount, and the amount high. And then click transact to mint. So then we're going to mint for each of these tokens. So we're going to go to the Gorley Voyager. We're going to go through to this link for the first token. And that will take you to this web page. And we're going to go down to where it says 6. Okay, and then you're going to enter um, your wallet address. So right here, copy it, and you'll enter that in the top line, and then let's see. So then the amount low will be this, control V that. And the amount high is zero. And then transact. All right, so let's see. So we did that for the first one. I'll be right back and if we'll see if that went through. All right, so for J26 Jan 0, we now have a thousand tokens. Now we're just going to repeat the same process for these other ones by going through these links. And these will be posted below as well. So we're going to, again, click through. And we'll X out of the old one. And go down to number six. And you will copy your wallet address. And then you can just use the same numbers. And you'll click transact. And then a thousand will come to this one. All right, so, and then we'll do the last one. And we'll come down to six. Same address, same numbers, and click transact to receive your test tokens. Alright, they might take a couple minutes to come in. Okay, so this is the final step. Now we're ready to make some swaps on Jedi Swap. So we will do that once our tokens arrive. Alright, so now that we've minted tokens for each of these contracts, you should have a thousand of each in your wallet. And now we are ready for the final step, which is to make some swaps on Jedi swap and basically it says just swap multiple times between the three tokens. Uh, other functions like liquidity are not usable yet. So we're going to go to Jedi swap and make some swaps. So we'll do 
let's do January 1. Alright, so you have to approve it. And swap. Alright, so the approval took a little. Now you can swap. And confirm swap. And that's the thing. Um, you know, using this um, wallet is... It's been a bit buggy. It's been a bit slow. Especially on the my swap. This one, I had to retry multiple times on the liquidity portion so just be patient and yeah just do a few swaps with this one so we'll do j2 for j2 j1 okay all right so i just got this uh it says price impact is too high so let's see all right so yeah if, if it says price impact is too high just lower the amount and it should be okay. So now we're gonna approve Jan 2. And we will swap. Alright, so we've done a couple swaps on Jedi Swap. Um, you might do three or four, uh, but like I said, these swaps they're slow and they take a little bit of time, so just be patient. And we also did swaps on my swap and we added liquidity. So according to this guide, that is all you need to do. If there's any confusion on your guys' part, uh, I'm going to lay it down in the description. Just make it simple for you guys. Um, post all the links, stuff like that. Um, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. And like I said, uh, especially the my swap portion very buggy and you'll have to retry uh, a lot of these transactions uh, but yeah it's a uh, it's a beta so it's it's uh, still early it's a test net and it might be slow so I hope this was helpful for you guys um, and hopefully you will get rewarded uh, when the time comes and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye for now